Alrighty, Aquarius, this is going to be your reading for April 2019. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. We're going to go ahead and jump straight into your messages for this month. So what's going on with my Aquarius and their soulmate for April 2019? If you guys would like to get a personal reading with me or if you'd like to check out my Patreon, all of that information will be in the description box. Aquarius for April, whoa. <laughs> Aquarius for April 2019. I'm just going to pull the cards out in order. I'm not going to take the ones that are jumping out because we'll be here forever. Aquarius for April 2019. Alrighty, so past energy between my Aquarius and their person. Present energy, the hidden influences the advice, the possible outcome for this month, and their feelings, okay? And let's pull one of these cards as well in a Romance Angel card. What is the advice for my Aquarius for April 2019? And the card that we have, it says, you're hot, smart, and got a great ass, okay? This card says, your person is lucky. Remind them. Interesting. These cards are so funny to me. Give me one card as far as what's going on between my Aquarius and their soulmate connection for April 2019. What's the energy surrounding that? And the card that we have, we have, okay, flirt in reverse. And then at the bottom of the deck, we do have keep an open mind. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this. Let's talk about this, Aquarius, because I feel like I know where this message is going. Let's move these over. Okay. So with this card coming out, let's first address this. Um, with this card coming out, I feel like you guys have a lot to offer. A lot of you guys have a lot to offer anybody who you deal with in relationships. And you may want a lot more also from your spouses as well, because you may be in awareness of the fact that you have so much to offer. With you having this awareness of what you want out of life, I feel like you guys do need to make sure that with your person if you do feel underappreciated or you feel as if they're not giving you their all you need to make that known like voice your concerns that's the only way it's going to be fixed within your relationship and with with flirt in reverse coming out usually i don't read oracle cards when they're in reverse but if all the rest of the cards are upright and then this card comes out reversed, I got to take that as a sign. So I feel like right now for the month of April, there may be some issues with you guys actually being flirty with your person. Um, it may be very like closed off energy. Yeah, it's clarified by true love and honeymoon. So it's like you guys have true feelings for this person there is a true connection between you and this person but you guys are very distant you guys may not be talking right now or it's just distant energy for others of you it's like somebody here has their guard up way 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 too much way too much but let's see what's going on here more in depth in a spread um what we do have as the first card to represent the past energy between you and your person we do have the King of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles, excuse me. And it's clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So a lot of you guys may have been in a relationship with somebody who was either financially stable, okay, they had their stuff together uh, as far as money-wise. For others of you, this could have been an earth sign that you were dating and this person, um, you may have felt like there was a lot of trustworthy energy between you and your person at this point. Um, you may have felt like it was very stable as well with the Ten of Pentacles. This may have been somebody who you were in a relationship with for a long time as well. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, you, well, you really did feel like this relationship was stable in the past. Like you guys were building something. For others of you, this is like you guys being sad about a relationship with somebody who you thought was like possible marriage material or like i said long-term commitment material or somebody who you were in a long-term commitment with there may have been some issues that you couldn't get over 
But presently, you guys are showing up as the Two of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. So I am seeing that presently, you guys are at a crossroads about which way to go when it comes to your connection with your soulmate. You may be single at this present moment. A lot of you guys may be single at this present moment, or your partner may be wanting to be single at the present moment. But... I feel like you guys want more growth with this person, but for some reason, somebody here is not wanting to open up. This could be with a Taurus or a Libra. Um, doesn't really matter the signs because I'm not going to really go over the signs way too much. But um, somebody here is closed off. But I feel like you guys really want to manifest some sort of change here within this relationship by putting the work in. Or you want more work to be put into the relationship overall. But the hidden influences affecting your connection for April is the strength card clarified by the Queen of Cups. So the strength card, with the strength card being here, I feel like somebody here is being too held back. Um, also, the hidden influence here is that somebody needs to gain the strength to actually express how they feel emotionally. Um, and also again, like I just see somebody holding themselves back from just even opening up when it comes to rebuilding this connection here. Um, this may be you guys, this may be your person, but I'm just seeing somebody being torn between their heart and their mind about whether or not they just want to keep this at the point it's at, or if they want to actually like try to get this relationship to be successful once again. But the advice here is for you guys with the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Six of Cups and the Three of Cups. I feel like the advice here is for you guys to go after what you want. Like with the Knight of Swords, this is you guys actually going to speak your truth. Um, and I feel like you guys, you guys want to speak to somebody from your past or somebody who you have a deep soulmate connection with. I feel like you guys should definitely do so because I feel like there is a chance for you guys to reconcile, especially if you guys put time into this. I feel like there just needs to be some decisions made about what's going to be offered. Is this going to be a full on relationship or what? But I feel like communication can move to a better place as a matter of uh, putting the opportunity out there and actually going after it if that's something that you want. But what I am seeing for the possible outcome for this month we do have the Page of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So the possible outcome is for you guys to still be in a space of like trying to figure out the truth of the matter, like when it comes to your relationship. Like I feel like you guys are going to want to speak to this person. You may be waiting for the right time to do so, um, especially with the Page of Swords, like maybe watching their social media for some of you guys for others of you like just wanting to communicate and see how they're doing or to clear things up but it's just like I feel like you guys are going to be very hot and cold very hot and cold energetically or you may be dealing with a very hot and cold person or a very hot and cold relationship but their feelings for you for this month we do have the king of swords and clarifying the king of swords we have the King of Pentacles and the Sun card. So they feel like you're very detached. They feel like you are very detached. Um, They feel like you're very money focused as well, like business focused. And I feel like this person realized some things about you that they're torn about. Yeah, they're in a torn place. I feel like they do want to communicate with you and clear some things up. But I feel like they realize that you may be torn and that you may not want to communicate with them. Okay, but I feel like eventually they will try to make things right with you. But right now, I feel like they, they're a little worried that you're not really going to be opening up to them or that you're going to be very detached in some form. Okay, 
but that's what i'm seeing here thank you guys so much for watching this i hope that i was able to give you guys some sort of clarity or guidance with your situation i wish you guys the best of luck this month and i will talk to you guys later make sure you check the description box as well if you do want a personal reading or if you want to check out my extended readings bye aquarius